Hi, Lucy. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. I am so happy to have you back. It's been so long, like a month and a half since you got that yeah. chihuahua bite on your knee. <laughs> yeah. So Good how are things back. going? Yeah, much better. Um, it healed pretty quickly after you um, prescribed me those antibiotics. So oh, um, it got much better after that. But it's definitely uh, scarred pretty badly. Dang. Um, so if you have any gel or anything that kind of helps with that scarring to go away, that would be sure. nice. For sure. Yeah, I'll definitely take a look and help you in that area for sure. Thank you. And you were mentioning you had another fall. Yes. Um, um, you hit your head? Yeah. Um, it was my last job that I had. I stopped working there after this time. <gasps> what happened? But, um, just a lot of drama. like, uh, And it's a very physical job. Okay. So I'm kind of done with that. So um, just my feet have been kind of feeling off. And just, oh, um, so sorry. just my whole body just kind of feels off. So I was looking into reflexology. Maybe we could go down that path. And yeah, it. definitely. I would love to do reflexology. I've got point therapy. I've got Perfect. lots of hot oils and stuff. So I'd that'll be that. great. Yes. Um, I'll start off with just doing your vitals just to make sure your heart yeah. and lungs and everything is good. Sounds good. So what I'll do is start off by just listening to your heart to okay. see how the heartbeats are, yeah. if they're still strong. Yeah, and I just started back at the gym, so I don't know if that changes anything. Oh, awesome. Okay. Can you breathe in deep? And breathe out. And again. And I do have costochondritis. I don't know if I've ever told you that. Oh, wow. What is that? Um, inflammation of the ribs, um, like the cartilage between the ribs. Um, so sometimes it's like a more enhanced crackling. Actually, I actually do hear that. That is so interesting. Is there a way to prevent? Um, no. They said treatment's literally just using high ice pack or a heating pad on it and just taking it easy. But... Um, it's hard because when you're at the gym and I do like lots of exercises like that, it messes up my ribcage right there. No way. It's really tough. That sounds painful. It is, but you know, it's, there's worse things out there. Yeah, for sure. Let me go ahead and check your oxygenation yeah. then since you were mentioning that. Yeah, definitely. And then I'm just going to check your temperature. Yeah. Okay, 97.6. 7.3, 96.9, okay. So that's pretty normal there. All right, oxygenation percentage is 97. Mm -hmm. And then beats per minute is 78, which is a little low. Okay. So let me go ahead and check your blood pressure then. Is yeah, it okay definitely. if I just lift this up? Yeah, of course. Perfect. I'm just going to slide this through. Yeah, definitely. Okay, and I'll have you just oh, yeah. hold it there, good. Okay, so this is going to be just a little bit of pressure. Okay. Sometimes the pulse oximeters aren't really accurate, so it looks like your blood pressure is completely normal. Okay, perfect. Thank you for checking. Of course. I just want to make sure that everything's still good, especially since, you know, you've been through a lot lately. Thank you. Am I good to put my sleeve down? Yeah, definitely. I can actually do that for you. Thank you. There you go. Perfect. So I'm just going to have a really quick look into your eyes just yeah. to make sure they react to light. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to... See if both react at the same time. They should be mimicking each other. Perfect. Okay, I'll have you follow the light for me. Very good. Just a few quick cranial tests. Okay. So I'm going to have you um, close your eyes. Don't let me open them. Good. And I'll have you open them. And then blink twice. Perfect. Can you smile? Frown. Good. Can you raise your eyebrows? Don't let me push them down. Perfect. I'm just gonna try to move your head this way, that way. Don't let me, so this way first. Good, good, and then up, okay, good. I'll have you open your mouth. I'll try to close your jaw, don't let me. Good, raise your shoulders. Don't let me push them down. 
Very good. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have you lift up your knee just for me to see your range of motion. All right, so does that hurt at all? Um, no. So the scars are gnarly. Yeah. Do you feel that? Um, yeah, but it's a bit um, tender. Okay, can you feel this? Yeah, that one's not as tender, but there's some weird bump that's at, um, underneath the skin. And then what's this? Um, that was from when I was younger. I was on Heelys and fell. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Well, they look like they're definitely healing very, very, very good. But we definitely want to get some scar, scar lotion on there. Yeah. And then how is this knee? Is everything still good? Yes. This one's just the knee that I got the ACL surgeries on. Um, so I'm definitely going to have to get a knee replacement when I'm older. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Um... Go ahead and have you lay down face up okay. and I'll start with the assessment. Okay, thank you. All right, so I can definitely have you lay down on the table. We'll okay. go ahead and get started with the assessment of the knee Perfect. and then go ahead with the reflexology of the feet. Perfect, thank you so much. You're welcome. Are you okay to lift this knee just a little yes. bit? Okay, perfect. So I'm just gonna have a look here, see if it's any, if there's any inflammation or if it's swollen at all. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and measure that. So just over an inch long. And then just half an inch. Wide, okay. I'm gonna do a really quick sharper dull test on it. Okay. This is dull. That's sharp. Okay. Dull. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Okay, perfect. All right. Can I see the one on this side here? Yeah. Okay, and I'm just gonna have a feel of this side here. Okay. Any pain? No, just that little, it's like a little bit sore still. Okay, I'm measure that. So, half an inch. Just about half an inch wide and half an inch long. So yeah, they're healing really good. Perfect, okay. Okay, let's do that sharper dull test on them as well. This is dull. That's sharp. Okay. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp, dull, perfect, okay. Right, let me get some of my ointment. Okay. And I'll give you that to take home. Thank you. Should really help with that scarring. Thank you. So I'll have you just put that on twice a day, morning and night, okay? Okay. And then after showers, of course. Cause okay. Um, and because the summer's coming up, um, should I keep them covered at the beach? Or, like, they shouldn't have sun exposure, right? Right, yeah, definitely. If you can just put a Band-Aid on them. Okay. Salt water will be fine if you just take the bandage off okay. wearing the water and then put one back in again later. Okay. All right, these look really good. They're healing properly, doing an amazing job. Thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to your feet. Okay. Is it okay if I move yourself? Yes. And do you have arthritis in the feet? Um, not yet, but it runs in my family, so. Oh, wow, okay. We'll definitely help you out today, okay. All right, so I'm just going to start off by having a feel of the legs okay. and the 
the feet here. A tiny little bit cold. Yeah. Which makes sense since it's winter. Okay. Let's go check your capillary response. Pull a toe, so one, two, three, four, five. Just let me know which one it is. Okay. Two, four, one, three, five, one, five, five. Okay, perfect. All right, can you wiggle your toes? Any pain? No. Good. Okay, perfect. So I'm just going to check your reflexes here. Good. Perfect, okay. I'm gonna check your sensation test. Okay, okay. so this is cold. Okay. This is dull. Okay. That's sharp. Okay. Cold. Cold. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Cold. Sharp. Dull. Cold. Sharp. Very good, yep. And then I'm just gonna start with some reflexology on the toes. Okay. Let me turn around so I can focus on the plantar foot. Okay. So I'm just going to start off by giving little pressure point motions with my thumb. I definitely feel the knots, for sure, especially right here. Yeah, definitely there. Thank you. I'm going to try to crack the toe. Add some oil.
trying to get those knots out. It feels like it is, thank you. You're welcome. And I heard that reflexology can also help you in other parts of your body, too. Yeah, for sure. I'm also just targeting your knee area. Targeting all your organs as well. Yeah, there seems to be a pretty big knot right here. Yeah, definitely. I feel that. It feels like you've gotten a lot of tension on. Yes, I think so. Thank you. So, too. I think I'm feeling them loosen up.
Just need a little bit of gua sha. Really get in there. Yeah, it's tough. Does that feel okay? Yeah, it's like a good pressure. And then with some cold therapy here. Does that feel okay? Yeah, it feels a lot And just let me know if this is too much, but I've got a massage tool here. And then now I'm just going to finish off with my rolling pin. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.
We'll have you sit up. Okay, thank you. Did you almost fall asleep there? I did almost fall asleep. That was really relaxing, and I can feel it. Even feeling better in my knees and my back already. Awesome. Well, I'm so glad. Make sure you just get lots of rest and lots of water or tea. Yeah. Okay. Get hydrated, and yeah, like I said, just take care of those scars, and they should be gone in no time. Perfect. Thank you. And then um, to get the cream, do I just get it when I check out at the end? Or? Yes. Okay. Um, my receptionist has it for you. Perfect. Thank you so much for everything. You're welcome. Cheers. Thank you. Hi Lucy, how are you? I am good, Kat, how are you? I'm good, thank you. So I see that you're back in the office. Yes, so it's been a busy week at work um, and I've fallen at work. Um, I fell, I was on a ladder trying to get some stuff out of the ceiling and I fell, I bumped my head, my knee and my left ankle. Okay, I'm so sorry to hear about that. Mm -hmm. I think what we should do is start off with a cranial nerve exam okay. and then we'll go ahead and do the knee and foot examination. Okay. So I'll start off with just taking your vitals. Okay. Um, just gonna listen to your heart. Is it okay if I move this down? Yes. Okay, I'll have you take a deep breath in. And release. Do the same thing with the bell. Deep breath in. And release. Good. And one more time. And release. And again. So you have a strong heart, me? Good. When's the last time that um, you had the flu or a fever? Um, probably like last year. Okay, so it hasn't been any time recent. So no. Just go ahead and take your temperature. 97.7. .7. Okay, no signs of fever. Let's check your oxygenation. BPM is 84, the normal range as well. Have you ever had your blood pressure taken? Yes. Is this arm okay? Yes. So you will feel just a little bit of pressure. Let me just relax. Yeah, good. And have you ever had high or low blood pressure? No, but it, it's in my family history. Okay, good. I'm glad we're doing a quick check for that then. Are you currently in any pain? Um, my head is a bit dizzy. Um, my ankle hurts, but that's really it. Okay. We're gonna feel a little bit of pressure. Okay. One eighteen over seventy-five is a good sign. Not elevated. And do you have a headache or anything like that? Uh, yeah, a little it's, bit. Um, so I hit my head actually behind my ear in a really sensitive spot. So it's radiating up towards my like the top of my head. Okay. Now you have like, any ringing or ringing in the ears? Yes. Okay. And are you feeling okay? I feel a bit weird. Do you mind if I just go get some water quickly? Oh yeah, for sure. <gasps> Are you okay? What? What happened? I think you should sit back. Oh my god. What happened? I think you fainted. Oh my god, that's never happened to me Okay, before. sit back down. Should we call 911? No, I think I'll just get you that water, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I have this bottle of water thank for you. Thank you so much. Yeah, take, take a few sips there. Thank you. And if you end up feeling dizzy again, just let me know. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. 
Do you feel well enough to continue? Yes. Okay. I do. So I am just gonna take a look into your eyes. Okay. And so what I'm gonna have you do is um, just look at my nose. I'm just gonna take a look. Good. They are dilating, reacting to light, which is great. So I'm gonna have you just follow the light for me. Okay. Okay, do you feel dizzy from that at all? Um, a little bit, yeah. Okay. Just let me know if you need a break. Thank you. All right, so I'm gonna do a quick um, eye examination test. So I'm gonna have you look at my nose and I'm gonna put my fingers in front of your face. Okay. I want you to tell me when you don't see my fingers anymore. Okay. No. 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 And tell me when you do see them. So I have a Snellen chart here and I would like for you, I have the Snellen chart here. I'd like for you to read the letter for me that I'm pointing at. P, O, D, C, L, H, C, T, C. Let me read the bottom line. L, T, F, P, H. Good, it's a screen. What color is this? A uh, pink or red. What number of circle is the smallest? Two. And then the third biggest? Third biggest would be seven. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna have you put this above um, your right eye. Okay. And tell me how many fingers I'm holding up. Two. Five. Okay, and the other eye? Oh, yeah. Uh, three. This. Does that mean I have a concussion? It might mean that you have a concussion, um, but we're going to keep going, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a really quick look at your retina, um, okay. just to make sure that hasn't been damaged at all. Um, that could be causing some of the dizziness, or okay. it might just be like the ear has been damaged. Okay. But let's go ahead and check the eye. Okay. So I'm gonna have you look this way for me. Okay. I'm just gonna come close and take a look. All right, so it looks like the retina is still attached, which is good. I'll have you look up. No popped blood vessels, no signs of redness. Okay, does that ear hurt? Sorry, does that eye hurt all? at no. all? No. Good. I'll check the other eye now, so I'll have you go this way. Okay, so the retina is attached, very good, and I don't see any popped blood vessels. I'll have you look up. No excessive tearing. Perfect. Any pain? No. Good. I'm gonna move on to checking your ear. Okay. So um, this side wasn't as um, hurt as the other one, right? Yes. Okay, I'll have you look this way. Okay. And I'm just gonna have a feel of the ear here. Any pain? No. I love your earrings, by the way. Thank you. So I'm just gonna have a look. I wanna make sure that there's, the eardrum isn't shattered. So I'm gonna pull your ear back. Okay. Okay, so I see the tympanic membrane is pearl gray. Very good. I don't see any signs of bleeding or Obstruction of any kind, which is really good. We'll definitely do a, a hearing test on that side as well. Okay. Um, but I'll move on to your other ear. Thank you. So I'm gonna have you face uh, this way. Okay. So be very gentle with this side. I feel okay. like you did hurt yourself. So this side is probably a little sorry. Yeah, it is. I also do have a bump just behind my ear uh, where it hit as well. Um, um, I do see that, yes, unfortunately. Yeah. And how long ago was this? Um, this happened Monday, so about four days. Does look like it is healing. Okay. When it starts to show like a darker purple, um, but I would definitely keep an eye on it, especially if you're getting like, if you're fainting. Yeah. Okay, so. Definitely. 
If you do have another fainting spell, um, you might want to just head over to the ER. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll have you look this way. Yeah. Okay, so the body membrane is pearl gray. There's no sign of bleeding or bruising on the inside. Maybe just a little bit um, more towards the front of the earlobe here. Nothing to be too concerned about. Have you been vomiting at all? Um, no, but I felt very nauseous. Okay. Let's do a really quick hearing test. I have um, what I call a tuning fork here. Okay. That's the sound that it makes. Okay. So I want to make sure you can hear the same on both sides. And so just say yes when you hear it. Okay. Yes. Did you do it? Yes. I didn't hear it. But now I can hear it. Yes. Good, okay. Is it a little bit more muffled on that side? Yes. Gotcha. Okay, I want you to tell me if this is closer or further away. Okay. Closer. Further away. Further. Closer. Okay. Let's do another uh, little test here. I'm gonna okay. spray um, this side and then this side. Okay. I want you to tell me if it sounds the same on each side. Okay. Um, this one felt closer. Okay. Yes. Good, okay. Um, I'm also going to do, do you hear this? Yes. And this? Mm -hmm. Okay, so just say which ear it is when you feel it. Left. Right. Right. Left. Very good. And I want you to just tell me, um, I'll have you actually close your eyes and uh, guess the sound. Water. Sounds like water. Okay, so I have two water Maybe. sounds. This okay. is one. Okay. Okay. One. Can you tell the difference between them? Yes. So this will be one. Okay. This will be two. Okay. One. Two. Two. One. 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 Two. Great. All right. Did you um, hit your nose at all? No. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put some gloves on and I'll have a really quick feel of the nose just to make sure that it's not broken or okay. fractured or anything like that. Okay, thank you. And since I have my gloves on, I'm going to also just have a quick feel of overall of your face. Okay. And your, um, your scalp as well, your head. Don't feel any bumps, so that's good. There might be a piercing feeling on this side, is that correct? Yes. And how about this side? Uh, no, not on that side. How you open your jaw just a little bit? Any pain? No. And let me close your jaw and I'm just having a feel of your nose. And have you ever broken your nose before? No. Any discomfort? No. And what about the sinuses? Um, it's a bit tender. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and do a uh, smell test. Okay. Just to see if your senses are still in order, your cranial senses. Uh, strawberry. Good. Um, banana? Yes, very good. Perfect, good job. Thank you. 
part. So I'm going to move on to do a um, taste test. Okay. Just gonna start off by having a look into your mouth just to make sure that there's no broken teeth. All right, very good. Perfect, no broken teeth. Um, did you bite your tongue at all during the fall? No, um, but the sides of my cheek, like when I fell, it just kind of got pushed into. Gotcha, um, do you mind yeah. just going like this with your yeah. hands? Okay, we do. I do see a little bit of redness there, mm -hmm. um, but it's not bleeding currently, so no. as long as it's not bleeding, you should be good. Mm -hmm. It started to peel here. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. you scraped a bit mm -hmm. of your skin. It might come off. You might have it flake into your mouth, and you can just, like, spit it out. Okay, thank you. So uh, let's go ahead and do a taste test just to make sure your cranials for your taste sensation are working properly. Did I get it? Oh, uh, yes. Oh, sorry, wait, sorry, it's I was still wasn't looking. All right, let me know what does that taste like. Mm, um, blue Raz. Yes, yes, yes. It's a good flavor. It is my favorite. Let's oh, go. That, last time I was here, you had a really good grape one. Yeah, it was really yeah. good. I make my own tincture. Oh, I really like them. Yeah, I'll have to give you some. Thank you. So what I'm gonna do now is sharp or dull. Um, I'll do this on your face, your chest area, your legs. Is okay. that all right? Yes. Perfect. This is sharp. Okay. That's dull. Okay. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Dull. dull. Sharp, sharp, dull, dull, sharp, 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 dull, dull, sharp, sharp, dull. All right, I'm going to do sharp, dull, or cold now. This okay. is cold, okay. Okay. Dull. Cold. Sharp. Dull. Cold. Cold. Dull. Cold. Cold. Dull. Sharp. Cold. Cold. Sharp, dull, cold. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus more on your knees. Okay. Um, I'm going to listen uh, to your knees with my stethoscope and do a few tests just to see if one is more immobile than the other. Okay. Um, and also on my uh, the paper that I for or filled out before this, I got surgery on my left leg twice. Oh, okay. Thank you yeah. for telling me. Actually, I do see the scars, so I'll do a few measurements on those. Perfect. Thank you. And I'm just going to take my gloves off. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. So what I'm going to do, um, if it's okay with you, I'll have you lift up your leg and cross it over yeah. to that. Are you comfortable? Yes. So let me go ahead and take a quick look at the scars here. So it looks like you've got one that's sort of about an inch. Um, I'll do a measurement there and then another one here. Another one there. Is it? Is it just the three? And then this one. Oh, wow. That's the main one. Ouch. So what was the reason for this? So I actually got two surgeries. I tore my ACL in high school playing soccer. Um, and then I tore it again a year later. So I had to get two surgeries. Wow. And how are you um, doing after that? It's, it's okay. It's, it's not painful when it's warm out, but when it's cold outside, it's pretty tough to get uh, working and moving. Oh, that makes sense because you might have, do you have any metal in there? Uh, no, I don't actually. They said one more and I would. Okay, I'm just gonna measure the body fat. Does this hurt at all? No, it's pretty numb there actually. Really? Okay. So it's about an inch and a half. Wide 
and then about just about half an inch wide actually the, the length was one and a half and then just okay perfect let me take a look at this one here this um when i fell at work this is actually the knee that i hit so i was just worried about it yeah no for sure that's um i'm really glad that you told me because it's important to check this out yeah thank you of course okay so no discomfort there is it no. numb as well um it's pretty numb yeah okay let's just go ahead and do a measurement so this one like it's about the same sort of thing here, but it's not as, um, doesn't show up as much as this one. This one's quite intense there, mm -hmm. but I don't see any bruising on them, which is good. Do a really quick check on this one here. One inch wide and quarter. Or one inch long, so about that and quarter of an inch wide. 1.2. Um, since my fall, there's, I have a scar down here, and um, there's been a bump that's come up. I don't know if it's a concern or if it's just scar tissue right there. I didn't have that before the fall. Um, I just don't know if that's something I should get checked out before. Hmm, I think it might just be scar tissue because, I mean, on a scale of 1 to 10, how does this feel? It's numb. It's, it's not very painful. Um, the fact that it's numb and it's not a full scar worries me just a little because yeah. you should be having feeling there. Um, yeah. Let's do a quick sensation test. Okay. So I want to make sure that you can feel cold. This is cold. Okay. And then let me do a sharper dull test. I'll have you close your eyes and we'll get started. Sharp. Cold. Dull. Cold. Sharp. Okay, so you do have your sensations. Um, I'm just thinking maybe the nerves that are more located towards the inside of the leg that are deeper, mm -hmm. um, they might have been affected by the fall. Yeah. So I think we'll have you um, get checked out um, elsewhere for that because okay. I'm a specialist for that. Okay. But what I'll do is I'll have you um, refer to my friend. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do sharp, dull, or cold on the other places here, the other scar tissue. Okay. Um, so on that one, I know it's the cold one, but it doesn't, I don't feel cold. I just feel smooth. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So, it's not sensitive to temperature? No. Sharp. Dull. Uh, uh, cold? Yes. Sharp. Cold. Dull. Okay, perfect. Let's do the same okay. test on this one right here. Okay. Um, cold. Sharp, cold, sharp, um, uh, dull, cold, sharp, dull, oh, sorry, cold, dull. Good job. So you're getting most of them correct. Thank you. I'm going to do a really quick um, gentle massage. Thank you. just to help release um, the inflammation that you've got going on. That's very nice, thank you. You're welcome. I'll have you close your eyes and I want you to tell me um, what this feels like on your, on your knee. Uh, by Kibo. Good. So this is just another method of 
reducing that inflammation there. Is there any chance you can write me a referral to get physical therapy? I definitely will. I think you Thank should you. you should definitely go to physical therapy for sure. Thank you. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to have you lay down okay. and I'll focus on that ankle, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Um, is it okay if I remove your socks? Yes. Okay. I love your socks, by the way. Thank you. Another thing that I wanted to do that I forgot was tapping on there. Do you feel that? Yes. And that? Yes. Barely. Gotcha. How is this knee? Any uh, surgeries on here? Uh, no. No surgeries. I'm going to just tap on your bony prominences. Okay. Any pain? No. Ow. That's where the bruising is. Oh, I see. I'm so sorry That's about okay. that. My apologies. It's okay. It's just Let me bit. do a really quick measurement okay. there, okay? Yeah. It's just very tender. Yeah, so sorry. Okay, so the bruise here, it looks like it's two inches long and just about two inches wide. Okay, let me just check that with my other measuring tool. 3.4. Let me measure the angle to see if this one's more swollen uh, than this one. Okay. So, uh, so I'm just going to measure this. So that's eight and a half inches. Okay. The calf ear. Are you able to go like this? Yes. Eight and a half, so it's the same, so it's not swollen. Thirteen, perfect. Good news is, is they're not necessarily swollen right now. Okay. Let me check. Nine. All right, okay. Let's do a quick um, sensation test. So I'll do that more so right here to see if you can feel. Okay. This is sharp. Okay. This is dull. Okay. Sharp. Dull. Sharp, dull, dull, sharp, dull, sharp, sharp, dull, sharp, sharp, dull. Bring that one up if you can. Sharp. Dull, sharp, dull, sharp, dull, sharp, dull, sharp.
sharp, dull, sharp, dull, sharp, dull. Let's do sharp, dull, or cold. Cold, dull, sharp, cold, sharp. Dull, cold, sh dull, sharp, 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 cold, sharp, dull, dull, sharp, cold. Okay, I'm going to use my acupressure tool. And I just want you to say yes when you feel it. Uh, yes. 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 All right, now were your toes hurt at all? No. Okay. I'm just gonna wiggle them, just check, uh, double check to see if there's any discomfort. Okay, I'm going to wiggle. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, just tell me which one. Three, two, five. Four, one, one, two, two, four, three, four, three, five, five, two, two. I'm going to go ahead and measure the toes really quick. Just gonna scrape one toe, just um, say which one it is. Okay. Three. One. Five. Two. Four. One. Three. Two. Four. I'm gonna write a letter on your uh, top of your feet here, okay. and I just want you to spell them and then spell the name after, or say the name or the okay. word after. Good. B. C. D. Good, okay. And now I'm going to spell a word. A. S. M. R. Perfect. I'm just going to put your socks back on. Thank you. Thank you. I'll have you sit up. Thank you. Okay, Lucy, so I think you're a little bit banged up. Um, it didn't seem like you had any more signs of uh, fainting throughout mm -hmm. the examination. Uh, but please be careful. Make mm -hmm. sure you get lots of rest tonight. 
If you feel dizzy again, just make sure you have your phone by you so you can call someone. Yeah. Um, I think you were just pretty banged up. I'm surprised you didn't get a concussion. Yeah. So I would get that rest and uh, make sure you're doing lots of water and maybe take some ibuprofen for the pain. Definitely. Um, and your ankle, it's not super swollen. I just see a bruise, which okay. is um, normal. I see it healing. Okay. Should I ice it or heat it? Or? I would say ice. ice yeah, it? Okay. definitely. I would say ice your ice your ankle and heat your um, your neck and shoulder area. Okay. Thank you. Do you have a heating pad at home? I do. Yeah. Good. I would use that. Okay. Other than that, if you have any other concerns, just let me know. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye. Welcome back, Katharina. What happened? I heard that you booked an appointment for today on a very short notice. Yes, unfortunately I was walking my dog and he pulled way too hard and started running after another dog and I fell, the most horrific fall, on my knee and I think I also cracked my ankle. Did you hear a pop or a crack when you fell? I did. Okay. And your left knee and foot, okay. How about yeah. the right one? Did you hurt the right one? Just a little, and I think I also cracked a toe. And when did this happen? Yesterday. Yesterday. When you fell, did you hurt anywhere else on your body? Um, my head hurts a little. You're I think right. I bumped my head, to be honest. What did you hit it on? Um, cement. Oh, okay. That can lead to a concussion. Did you have any blurred vision or double vision right after the fall? Yes, unfortunately. Both of your eyes are just one? Both. Both of them, okay. Can you point to where you hit your head? Right here. Okay. So I do feel a little bump right there. So you definitely hurt your cranial area. Any shortness of breath? No. Okay. Any numbness or tingling sensations anywhere in your body? No. No. Okay. Did you try anything? Cold presses, hot patches, any ibuprofen, over-the-counter medication for the pain? Yes, I've been taking a little bit of ibuprofen. Okay. So I'll be more than happy to perform a food exam and a podiatry assessment today. Thank as you. well as a cranial nerve exam to make sure that there's no cranial nerve damage as a result of the hit that you suffered on your head. Okay. So let's go ahead and begin an assessment. Just a very brief assessment of your knee. Are you able to lift your leg up at all? Just can, slightly. Can you touch right here? Okay. Can you touch right here? Okay. Almost. All right. Mm. I do see a little bit of an inflammation and a redness right here. Taking a look at the patella, a little bit of redness right here. Can you feel my touch here? Yes. And here? Yes. Here? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh I'm not seeing any other bruises or indentations. I do feel the inflammation right here. It's a big bump. And I can see a little bit of redness. So let's go ahead and just begin by doing the cranial nerve exam first. And then we'll have you lie down and I will take a look at your um, knee and your leg and your feet in more in depth. All right, let me just check your eyesight and your vision since you bumped your head. Go ahead and look into the distance for me. I'm going to just check for the pupil response. And across in the cup for me. Okay. Just 
going to take a peek at the base of the eyes. Make sure there's no jaundice. Good. Look down for me. Perfect. So eyesight looks good. I'm going to go ahead and feel your head and palpate and check for any lumps or bumps, indentations on the head. And now I can feel the bump. Let me go ahead and take a look as well with my light. There was definitely no puncture. I'm not seeing any blood, no redness. Okay, that's all good. No other indentations base of the neck either or in the back of the head. Good. Okay, let me go ahead and look at the skin as well on your neck. Your chest, your ears, looks all right. Raise your eyebrows for me, keep them raised, don't let me lower them. Good. And can you be, give me a big smile, the frown? Good. Puff out your cheeks for me, keep them puffed. Good. Stick out your tongue, move it side to side, perfect. And open your mouth and stick out your tongue. Okay. Right, good. Right, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of tapping all over your body and check the integrity of your bones. And if you feel any pain, just stop me at any moment. Go ahead and click eyes closed. Good. Good. Good reflex on your eyes. Perfect. Good. Open your jaw up for me a little bit and keep it open. Any pain right there? No. Good reflex. Perfect. Good. Good. Good reflex. Let's check out your knees too. Just keep them loose, no tension in them. Good. Perfect. Go ahead and take a listen at your heart and lungs. Just breathe normally. Any heart palpitations after the accident? No. Good. Okay. Heart is normal. Take a deep breath in. And out. Good. Deep breath in. And out. Good. Deep breath in. And out. Good. You can just breathe normally now. Nice. All vital signs are okay. I'm going to check your balance next, so I want you to just keep your hands parallel. Perfect. And now uh, move them up parallel to your head. Perfect. And now lower one of them and keep the other one raised. Perfect. And now reverse. 
Perfect. And now lower both of them. Excellent. Now I want you to step down and sit in front of me. I want you to um, mirror me. Perfect. So this is the right foot, the one that was not damaged, right? So full mobility. Now can you do the same with your left arm? Perfect. Can you extend it forward? Can you reach right here? Okay, not too much. Okay, you can lower it. Now can you go like this? Perfect, and the other side. Try to touch your knee. Okay, so you do reach down to your knee. Now can you do the same on the other side? Perfect, you can sit back down. Okay, now I wanna take a look a little bit more closely at the knee. Can you place this leg over your right one? Perfect. And keep it right there. I'm going to try to see if I can hear any crackling. Can I move your leg up? Yes. Perfect. Now lower it. Good. And now can you do the same? Can you raise it and lower it? Raise it and lower. Perfect. So I'm not able to hear any crepitous sounds, which is a very good sign. It means that the meniscus is most likely okay, that there is no complete tear on the rotator cuff. Otherwise, I would have heard a lot of crepitous sounds. Okay. Does that hurt? No. About that? No. And now let's try right on top of the patella. This may be a little bit painful. Any pain there? Just a little. Just a little bit, okay. Going to do some acupressure therapy. Relieve some of this pain. Keep your eyes closed. Do you feel that? Yeah. Okay, I want you to tell me when it stops. No. No. I'm going to do a test that's called sharp or dull. Do you feel that? Yeah. Okay, so that's dull. And do you feel that? Yeah. That's sharp. So tell me what you feel. Sharp. 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 
Sorry, I was looking. Do it again. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Excellent. I'm also going to measure the patella, the kneecap here. Lay down and I will continue with the foot exam. Okay. Just palpating your patella and tibia bone. Not feeling any fractures. Checking for edema. Okay. Feeling your popliteal pulse. Okay, good. And the pedal pulse, two plus. Both legs synchronized. Capillary refills are two seconds plus on both legs. Even temperature distribution. The plantar region is a little bit cold. Is that normal for you? Yes. Going to inspect your toes and in between them, checking for any sores, any bruises. The nails look healthy, no signs of clubbing or pinning. Can you wiggle your toes for me? Okay, good. Can you rotate this foot for me? Mm-hmm. And clockwise. Perfect. Okay, can you rotate your left foot as well? Clockwise now. Perfect. Okay, any pain when I do this? No. Any pain here? No. Okay. Any pain here? No. Here? Good. No. Okay, so I'm not noting any abnormalities, no bruises, no redness. Okay. Going to go ahead and tap on your bones 
and I'll start with the tibia bone and the metatarsal bones and I'm going to check for any fractures anything that may be on a more you know the level of a fissure So tibia bones are intact on both of your legs. Let's check the metatarsals. Good. So no breakages or fractures on the metatarsals. Let's check the phalanges. on the phalanges either. Okay, do you feel this? Yes. And this? Yes. Okay, which leg am I touching on, left or right? Right. your pinky. Perfect. Big toe on your left foot. Perfect. And pinky. Perfect. So you, you retain full range of motion on your toes and your legs and no broken bones. Let's go ahead and perform a sharp or dull test to check your dermatomes. Is it sharp or dull? Dull. Dull. Sharp. 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 Dull. Dull. So the surreal nerves and the saphenous nerves are well innervated and there are no signs of any nerve damage. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and check some measurements. Checking for how your muscles are reacting. At the same time, good, good, good. So I'm seeing good level of symmetry as of right now in both of your legs. and feet. And there's no level of inflammation that is more pronounced in one of your legs than the other one, which is great news for the blood flow and the circulation in both of your legs. All right, let's go ahead and flip over so I can take a look at the plantar region of your feet. All right, let me go ahead and inspect the calves muscles of your legs in the back. I'm seeing one big scar here. How did this happen? 
when I was young, my sister, she traced me with a broom that was broken and, yeah, <laughs> cut me. Oh, wow. It's a big scar. Mm. Other than that, I'm not seeing any abnormalities. You have a couple of moles that are very small. Okay. Plantar region looks clean and evenly colored. No scaling of the skin. Really well hydrated feet. I'm gonna go ahead and palpate the plantar region. Checking the calcaneus bone. And the fibula in the back. Okay, any pain here? No. I'm gonna pull on your legs. Any pain there? No. Good. Checking the fibula in the back. The bone does not appear broken. <coughs> and palpating the plantar region. Pulling on your leg. Any pain here? No. Okay, flexing it all the way back. Any pain there? No. Okay. And let's flex the other leg as well. Any pain there? No. Good. Okay. I'm going to tap on the fibula bones in the back and the calcaneus region. no pain and let's check the level of inflammation in your muscles I'm seeing a very good symmetry between the muscles in the two legs. Good. All right. Is it sharp or dull? Dull. Dull. 
Sure. calcaneus region it really helps to trigger some of the meridians we can see the skin slightly discolorating while the blood flow is pushed down and then coming back to a pinkish color when the blood comes back as well, give you some relief. Perform a massage of the calf muscles. Massaging your tibial nerve. And the plantar region. As well as in each one of your toes.
I got a little crack there. And the tibial nerve around the calcaneus region. And the fibula bone in the back. A lot of tension is being stored right here. I'm going to touch with a cold object and I want you to see when you stop feeling it. No. No. So no concern whatsoever with any nerve damage or with your dermatomes in your legs and your feet. All right, let's get back up. Okay, Katharina, this concludes the foot, leg and knee assessment. Good news is that I was not able to notice any nerve damage. Uh, your cranial nerves are intact, so we're not looking for anything neurologically out of the ordinary uh, here. You're perfectly healthy. It's just um, muscle pain that can be relieved with just a couple of days of rest and a couple of hot, cold patches and some ibuprofen. Very good. How Thank do you, you feel? I feel so much better, actually. The massage was great. Great. Are you able to stretch your foot out a little better now? Perfect. Okay, and any pain when you do that? No. No, good. So I hope I was able to help you. And if you don't get better in a week, come back and see me. Definitely. Thank you. You're welcome.